El Ferreres is a beautiful estate on the California coast in the heart of Montecito. James Waldron Gillespie was the founder of the estate, and he forged a friendship with the renowned architect Bertram Goodhue, known for his magnificent churches, museums, and monumental buildings. They decided that they would travel on a year-long trip to gather the inspiration for this estate. A significant portion of their journey included over 500 miles on horseback from the Caspian Sea to the Gulf of Persia. It was there that they decided the Montecito residence would be a Roman villa with Persian gardens. It's only one of three estates designed by Bertram Goodhue in this area. It was built with an incredible eye for detail and strength. One of the most distinguishing features of El Ferreres are the grounds. The name El Ferreres actually means tropical paradise. You have 10 forested acres here reflecting pools, pathways, original brick and marble. There are over 100 species of palm trees. You can even find redwood and sequoia trees here. Many of the trees are over 100 years old. Walt Disney came to the estate in 1957 and took palms for his tropical jungle ride. It's no wonder El Ferreres was defined in the early 1900s as one of the top 15 places to visit in the United States and was known at the time as a botanical garden. Not only are the grounds stunning, but the home itself is a work of art. Lee Lowry, most known for the sculpture of Atlas at New York City's Rockefeller Center, created sculptures for the exterior of the estate. As you enter the dining room, you'll see a barrel domed ceiling with a scene by Henry Wadsworth Moore. This depicts Alexander the Great conquering Persepolis the ceiling is painted with 24 karat gold leaf. The conversation room ceiling is actually a replica of the Basilica of St. John Lateran's Church in Rome, also 24 karat gold leaf. It's no wonder that for over the last 100 years, it's had a rich and colorful history. It commonly receives recognition for hosting the wedding festivities of Charlie Chaplin, and there have been many notable visitors. To name a few, Thomas Mann, Albert Einstein, and Winston Churchill. In more recent times, El Ferreres was featured in the iconic film Scarface, starring Al Pacino. El Ferreres was restored with incredible detail without sacrificing any of the historical elements. One might say it is the perfect combination of history and today. El Ferreres is truly an exceptional place. It began with such vision, I can only imagine what the future will hold.